Hi, I'm Father James Kubicki, U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. And this past month, the general intention that we've asked people to pray for has been World Youth Day. It's over now, and the many young people have returned to their homes. But let's pray for them one more time, asking that the many seeds that were planted in Madrid, Spain, may take root and grow and bear fruit in the lives of these young people and all the places they live. Here's what Pope Benedict said before getting on the plane to return to Rome. I leave Spain very happy and grateful to everyone, but above all, I am grateful to God, our Lord, who allowed me to celebrate these days so filled with enthusiasm and grace, so charged with dynamism and hope. The feast of faith which we have shared enables us to look forward with great confidence in providence which guides the church across the seas of history. That is why she continues to be young and full of life even as she confronts challenging situations. This is the work of the Holy Spirit who makes Jesus Christ present in the hearts of young people in every age and shows them the grandeur of the divine vocation given to every man and woman. Young people readily respond when one proposes to them in sincerity and truth an encounter with Jesus Christ, the one Redeemer of humanity. Now, those young people are returning home as missionaries of the gospel, rooted and built up in Christ and firm in the faith, and they will need to be helped on their way. So I urge bishops, priests, religious and Christian educators in particular to care for these young people who want to respond enthusiastically to the Lord's call. Do not be afraid to present to young people the message of Jesus Christ in all its integrity and to invite them to celebrate the sacraments by which he gives us a share in his own life.